When it comes to artists, there's a lot of talent here in 21 Country. But tonight, yeah. the beauty is in the simplicity of the technique as we showcase that there is enrichment for all who give painting a try. Bright colors, splashes of paint, you'll even find fur on some of these canvases. The artists have creative license and people will pay top dollar just to have a work of art by one of them. Pixie is a Vietnamese potbelly pig. She was purchased as a baby from a breeder and was kept as a house pet. Um, and then when her previous owners were moving into Fort Wayne city limits, they could no longer have her because pigs were considered livestock. Kelsey Nicholson is the senior lead keeper at Black Pine Animal Sanctuary. When she arrived, uh, she was morbidly obese, which is pretty common, unfortunately. Here, animals have a forever home sometimes after a life of abuse, abandonment, neglect, or seizure. She just made a lovely painting for us. We paint with the animals just as a form of fun enrichment for them. And just like humans, art can help with healing. There he is. Hi, handsome. Cody is a Kawadamundi. He belonged to a couple who then had children, um, and he became quite a handful in their house. They really can't fully display all of those natural behaviors that they would be able to. So as you saw when he was painting, he came out, he was able to utilize that sense of smell and that nose, digging around, um, just having space and most importantly, also having companionship. I see that Cody um, left maybe even some fur in the painting. So tell me about uh, what a potential buyer of the painting looks for. Yes, um, so obviously it's totally dealer's choice. Oftentimes people pick it based on their favorite animal, their favorite resident. Sometimes you'll find little nose prints, sometimes you'll find claw marks, paw prints, um, sometimes you'll find fur. Um, I do want to say fair warning, if they decide to mark it, we don't sell those. <laughs> Puff is a sulcata tortoise, also known as an African spurred tortoise. He is just shy of 100 pounds at only 22 years old. Oh, that's a nice little footprint. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's so beautiful. When they first hatch, they can fit right in the palm of your hand um, and they actually never stop growing. So they definitely peak right around now, but they will constantly get a little bit bigger as they age um, and they can live upwards of 80 years in captivity. The cool thing about when you buy the artwork on the back, mm -hmm. you've got the animal's name, yeah. a picture of them. Yeah. So you get that personal story too. Yeah, absolutely. So each and every animal here at the sanctuary obviously is their own unique individual sentient being. <laughs> um, that goes without saying, but they also have their own backstory, their own traumas. Um, and that really helps you make that personal connection that this is this really cool thing um, that this really amazing creature made. Um, so we always want to make sure that people get that personal touch when they're here and that they really understand what they're doing here um, and why they shouldn't be here. an alligator there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Black Pine is a really cool place. You can buy from Black Pine's gallery of animal art at the gift shop. The Animal Sanctuary is a nonprofit relies completely on donations of money, food, and supplies to keep their work going. We've put information on how to help if you're interested on our website. Did I hear right that Tortoise is trying to knock down the fence sometimes? Oh yeah, like, and yeah. will regularly knock down some fence posts. So. An adventurous tortoise. There. Not a great idea to have one <laughs> as a pet. Uh, no, not not at all, not at all. Hey, still come from us tonight.